Hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. This afternoon, I'll be going to visit a madame. So this is Goose Island Beer Company's Madame Rosé, which is a Belgian-style wild ale that has been aged in wine barrels. I assume possibly rosé barrels? Maybe? Maybe? Given the name? This is their 2016 release. It's been in my cupboard for quite some time. I don't know if it's been in my cupboard for all six years of its life, but uh, uh, it's been there for a few years. Um, I have enjoyed several of the Goose Island um, Belgian-style wild ale ales in their big bottles, and every single one has been delicious. Say what you will about Goose Island being a, a macro beer company, they still approach a lot of their beers with a sense of craft. Let me put it that way. Um, I know that's not the most popular idea amongst craft beer snobs or nerds or aficionados, whatever you, they, they, they title themselves, fellow appreciators of beer craft and craft beer. Um, but my own experience is that I enjoy these beers. And I'm not going to apologize for the fact that I enjoy these beers. So, being a six-year-old beer, so, being a six-year-old beer, this is almost amber colored now. There's still a hint of red, strawberry red. Um, even before I took the cap off, just when I undid the foil, I could smell uh, like the kind of an old wine, not a musty wine, but just a like an old, rich, fruity wine character that was really quite appealing. And that was before I even took the cap off. The smell here is tart. It's quite tart. Um, I don't know if you remember, but what beer was it I drank on my birthday? It was another one of these, and it was with the red label. And that was like strawberry fields right like right there in your face, from the nose to the finish. Strawberries on top of a very tart, dry beer. This, it's cherries. Maybe not the just overwhelming, super deep, rich strawberry uh, flavor that that other um, Goose Island had. Not the same level, but it's definitely cherry. It's it's cherry to the nose. Um, maybe a like stream rocks, like rocks from a stream. I don't know if you know what that smell is like. It's kind of evocative to me. Dry, which I mean the rocks are wet, but I think that it's a it's not acidic, um, but it's it's slightly acidic maybe. I'm not sure. Definitely some herbal, some kind of deep, dark herbal notes. Almost like a, a black tea. The head is pretty fine and didn't stay around very long. Yeah, maybe maybe a black tea and, and kind of a sharp, deep herbal note. That's interesting. With kind of dark cherries and dry cherries as the cherry nose. Let's uh, give it a swig. Ooh. It's another tart one. <laughs> wow. That gets you. Um eye watering. I mean my eyes are watering from how tart that is. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to hold it in my mouth long enough to to suss some flavors out <laughs> is an exercise. Um the it it's really tart. Overwhelmingly tart. But there is some interesting and appreciable things going on in there. 
Uh, so it's like a cherry tartness, like sour cherry. Um, there's definitely some depth to it though. And it kind of goes from cherry to something else. But it's, it's like super fruity and the fruit's all just brilliant and vibrant. There's, there's some real delicious things going on here if you can get past that super tartness. I would imagine as it warms, that tartness might fade a little bit as some of the other flavors get a chance to come and play. Um, that'll be interesting to see. I mean, it'll take me probably a good part of the evening even sharing this with my wife. To, to finish this, so it'll have plenty of chance to come up to temp. But I would expect more of the juiciness, more of the sweetness to come through as it warms. And yeah, even even just now, coming up a few degrees here, I'm definitely picking up. The, the tartness has kind of mellowed a little bit, which is nice. And there's some other flavors coming up to play. But it it's really just, it's fruit. It's It's like super super tart but still sweet cherries and and they're just there in from start to finish yeah there's this underlying kind of current of uh you know just just beer bitterness it you know, just the the standard kind of i don't know what i'm saying just this super sweet super tart cherry like all the way through start to finish from the nose when it get, hits and gets your tongue and and then through the finish it's it's like there's there's not um any transitions in there are very smooth it's not like this and then this it's this and and that's it's a really consistent and not consistent it's it's a really smooth transition that is very on topic perhaps would be a word to say And it kind of finishes, I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes with like super, super fresh, like from the tree fruit, um, there's a bit of a zinginess sometimes. Um, maybe almost like a effervescing going on. And um, that's kind of, as, as it finishes, that's that's kind of the finish of this beer. It's It's just fruit. It's fruit from start to finish. And it's really delicious in that way and that they were able to pull this from um, you know a, a wild ale aged in wine barrels I suppose since they put the cherries in there the cherries are really just highlighted very deliciously in this and that's quite a tasty beer especially if you like your really really tart Belgian style sours um, being a, a Belgian style wild ale so this this is not a Saison I don't believe um, it's far too tart for that. Uh, it is fermented in the barrels, so it spent a significant part of its very formative time in those wine barrels uh, with the cherries. So it would have a lot of ample opportunity to take on those flavors, and it definitely has. This is probably more towards the, um, the warm weather side of beer. Um, though there's enough going on there, you could probably still enjoy it as the weather cools a bit, as I am today. Anyways, uh, this has been the Madame Rosé 2016 release by Goose Island Brewing. I'm Matthew. I've been chewing the brew. I'll catch y'all on the flip side.